All right. Um, let's keep going and let's not get the attention of the berserkers this time. And I go first. I said I was sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Romy a dexterity stealth as you move through the tunnels. Falling as part of the uh, Three, four, three, three, four, four. You can do combat, you just can't do stealth. No, I can't. I, what's great is that the characters that don't have stealth, I end up doing luck and rolling well. Characters that do have a stealth and decent dexterity, I get fumbles. This is a minor fumble, by the way. Five successes, and I'm not in mist form. Cool. And four for uh, for Adam. I will allow you to use a luck point if you wish to luck that fumble. I would like to because I felt like you might. It would be nice not to um, face palm yet again. Yes. Yeah. Uh, that'll be uh, that'll be three successes then. Okay. So you are all sneaking through the tunnels. You're going to come to, like, a prison area. And what you're going to find... In fact, roll me an intelligence investigation to see what you find. Three. One. Three successes. It was almost another fumble. Three successes, two fumbles. As I say, you, you come across this sort of prison area. With one success, you notice that uh, one of the cages has been violently broken out of. By something big. With three successes, you're going to notice the, the half-eaten remains of a mimic in, in their sort of goat form lying against the opposite wall. Something grabbed it, ate most of it, spat the rest out, and then headed down the tunnel towards you. Looks like the berserker you killed might have actually been an escapee looking for food. That makes sense. Um, and possibly the yelling brought it to... Yeah. Yeah. As you continue on past the uh, past the prison area, you continue to be stealthy. I'm not going to make you roll again. And before too long, you're going to come into what I can only describe as a wide open area. It's, it's very high, and there's a spiralling path that goes up the inside. Uh, best guess, this might be the central spire of the whole thing. But at the bottom of it... You're, you're actually kind of behind and to the left, um, so you can't see it very well. It's it's quite a long way down from where you are. There is a throne, a big stone throne in the centre of that chamber. Is there anybody sitting on it right now, or is it vacant? You can't tell from this angle. It's just... it's So, I guess... So, are we, are we looking at the back of the throne, or is it just that we're so far away that we can't tell? You're looking at the back. But oh, if we were not... to move around the staircase, we could... Yes, you could, potentially. Uh, it's not a staircase, it's literally just like a ramp. Uh, but yes, you could move around to have a better look from the front. I'm going to say, just just wait a moment. I'm going to transform into Mist and sort of stealth to see if anyone's on the throne. Okay, roll me a dexterity and stealth, please. You say something to, to Adam and say, I, I, did, I didn't teach her that. I'm not good at that. Three, four. Uh, two, four. So many dice. That's an eight. I'm looking for sevens, aren't I? Sevens. Only two successes. No, hang on. Three successes. Three successes. A child of demonic energy cannot hide from me. You dare enter my citadel. You dare threaten my minions. And you dare try to sneak around before me. What this individual looks like, you are gonna you are gonna get a look. He got four successes on his stealth, he, he knows you're there. He's probably twelve foot tall, he's huge. He's wearing kind of black armor. It it's not even horned, it's just like 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 plain black armor. Like almost as basic as it could be. If you were to use one word to describe this individual, it would be terrifying. Okay, you are instantly on the back foot, scared. He knows you're there. Every instinct tells you to run. Now. I want you to run me a double willpower. Okay. Four. You are looking for sevens. 
How heavy is the armor, though? I'm just curious. It looks it looks pretty heavy. Yeah. Three successes, two fumbles. You are barely able to hold your ground and not just go running back to where they are. Mm -hmm. So what do you want to do? Do I think he's only detected me? He hasn't detected the others? It's hard to know. So his claim was that a child of demonic energy can't sneak around in front of him. Stephen also has a demonic remnant. Uh, I have an right. angelic one, so I, I'm going to think, haha. Maybe. Maybe. It's really hard to know. For the moment, I'm going to stay in mist form and try to keep his attention on me so the others can try to move around and surprise him. I assume you come to challenge me? Um, yes. You are more of a fool than I thought possible. Uh... Hey, he's a demon. He, uh, posturing's a thing. Approach. And uh, the two of you are going to hear this conversation going on between between Beth and, uh, and the demon. So now you know someone's sitting in the throne, at least. Well, wh uh, why, why don't you approach me, I say, move, moving back away from the entrance I came in and trying to keep his back towards the entrance so the others can surprise him. Um, bear in mind you're above. You're not at his level. How far off, though, is it? Is it... The spiral loops about 10 metres apart... And there are three loops below you to get down to the bottom. So you could actually hang down using your dagger chain. You could actually drop, drop, drop. Mm -hmm. And then you'd be on the ground level. Well, actually, it's subground, but... Can, can I float in mist form, or would I drop normally? You cannot float in mist form. You won't hurt yourself by falling, but you will not float. I'll, I'll do that. I'll drop down in mist form. Okay, so you step forward and drop down before the demon. What are you two going to do? I'm going to grapple down as well, so I can get there. Romia Dexterity Stealth. Steven? Uh, I have no really <laughs> good, viable way to, to get down there. I guess I'll I'll try to, like, take advantage of the situation and sneak down as best I can. And the moment, the moment he knows I'm there, I'm just booking it and being like, All right, we're coming. Dexterity Stealth. I got two. Well, holy freaking... Alright, cool. That's five. Hmm. He's going to be talking to Bethan, and he's just going to turn his head and look over his shoulder, and he's going to say, You do realise, Forbidden, that angelic artifacts vibrate at an even higher frequency than demonic ones. As you're kind of dropping down to the next level. He's just looking straight at you. I hope you like those vibrations, because they're coming for you. Yeah, they're good vibrations. <laughs> I was going to say the same thing. Are you going to continue dropping down? Is that what you're going to do? I mean, as long as he's not in melee range of me, I'm going to keep it going. Okay, uh, could everyone please roll initiative, then? You're moving as quickly as you can while being stealthy, Stephen. Uh, you're dropping down, Adam, and you have dropped down, Beth. 15 again. 8. Uh, 14. So, this, uh, this particular um, demon, he's going to bellow, You face wrath now! And at this point, he's going to pull out a small dagger from his belt and throw it right at you, Adam. Your defense is four, right? Okay. It misses you entirely. But embeds in the walkway above you. He's then going to charge towards Bethan and swipe with his... He, he pulls out this giant sort of double-bladed sword and he just runs towards you and swipes with it. Your defense in misform is eight. Yes. So I'm only going to get six dice. Bethan, you are going to be hit by this... Two-handed sword. You've never felt anything like this. Mm -hmm. Every energy in your body is disrupted, and you're forced out of mist form. And you're going to take how many health damage do you have left? Uh, full health. I'm I'm on full health. Four health damage. You're you're forced out of mist form by this by this two-bladed sword. And and you've never felt anything like this. It's like every cell in your body has been pushed to do something you didn't want to do. Rude. It, it, it is rather rude. 
And also, by the way, Roth gets two attacks a turn. Just 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 to be on the safe side. Steven. Um, so <laughs> how close do I have to get before I can do an obnoxious like leaping downward stabbing if I miss I die attack? You could do it now. And I'd need, like, eight successes. You can double run, and then I'll need six successes. You can double run after that, and I'll need four successes, and so on. How many luck points do you have left? One. Let's keep going, and then I'll do that next turn. Okay, you're gonna double run, then. Bethan. That hurt. That hurt a lot. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna move back and fire my gun at him. Sure, because that works really well most of the time. Oh, well, that's the only thing I've got. That's <laughs> the only weapon I've got. Well, you're starting to learn why humanity lost the war. Yeah. That's Wits and Gunnery? Gunnery minus two. He only has two defense. Mm. That's all. Just two defense. Five minus two. And I'm looking for what number? Seven. One. Three successes. And one fumble. Roll for damage. Eight, two, and four. Bounces off his armor. Damn, damn, and damn. So yeah, you take a few steps backwards, fire with your rifle, it just tings off his armor and he says, Ha ha ha, pre-war rifles, you're a fool. As well as powerless to stop me. I, I quite, quite, like, quite, quite like this character, I'm getting into it, you know. You, you've, also, you've also, of course, lost another ammunition got three left yeah non-remnant weapons against demons is not a good situation we are now on to adam adam uh you will need one more dex double dexterity to get down to ground level you won't be able to attack this turn luck point please <laughs> for two successes i got two ones so you know it's like you'd rather not fall and die yeah Okay, so you've got two successes. Uh, you're going to land on the ground. You're going to be slightly shaken. What actually happened is, as you drop down, that part of the walkway broke. Mm -hmm. um, but your dagger chain caught onto another bit. It sort of fell sideways and caught onto another bit. And you kind of swung and ended up with your legs against the wall, like half a meter off the ground. So you just drop down. You're like, ooh, that was a bit close. So, um, out of the dagger that he threw at you, Adam, I'm sure you remember that, kind of a f mist, an orangey mist emerges. And um, it forms into a kind of, I wouldn't even say vaguely human shape, more like vaguely human torso shape. But it's on fire. Okay, so it's, it's like kind of like a fire elemental thing. Um, and what that's going to do is it's going to appear, like, look around for you, and then drop down to your level to be standing right next to you. It's now his turn again. He's going to throw a dagger at Steven. Disclaimer, I'm not certain this fight is even possible. I, 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 never, I never promised it would be, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I'm figuring this is uh, going to be a long win. Steven, he throws the dagger at you. You're actually ready for it, and you deflect it with your chain, pushing it into the wall, and does no damage. Okay. You probably won't have noticed a fire elemental forming near Adam. So you probably won't know what's coming. He's now going to sort of advance on Bethan menacingly. And Bethan, I'd like you to roll me a willpower intimidation, please. Uh, oh, willpower luck. And you have to roll tens. Yay. Ooh. There's one ten. Yeah, one, one, one success. Okay, so you are you are going to be terrified, right? He rolled four successes. Um, you you are going to be absolutely terrified, mm -hmm. and um, he's just gonna he's gonna lean close to you and say, "The first of you who kills a teammate may join me and live." And then he's gonna back off and turn his back on you. All right. Become forbidden.